everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to be touring Leonardo's Island of New Leaf. Now I am super excited to visit this island because Leonardo has let me know that he started this game in 2020 and he has not time traveled once. This has been on my list of islands to visit for a while now and I have been itching to go, so I'm super excited to visit. So other than no time traveling, I have no idea if this island is themed, what the villagers are like, anything like that, so I am super excited. Okay, it looks like it's set in cherry blossom season. I am very excited to see if this is gonna be like a super norm core island because I kind of need that inspiration for my no time traveling island. Okay, we have New Leaf. Let's check out the map. Okay, so we have some amazing villagers here. Lots of my dreamies. We have Molly, Fauna, Walt Jr. Then we have Candy, Flo, Mott, Claudia, Anchovy and Amelia super cute villagers we have Elena and Leonardo so as you can tell from this map there's been a crazy amount of work done to this island I'm excited to see all of the in-game pathing really looking forward to this let's get started I suppose the best thing to do is to come down here oh this is already just filling me with all the nostalgia I'm really looking forward to doing an island like this. I feel like the team that worked on Animal Crossing would love this island. We have a lovely mixture of the 2.0 items and the older ones. I love this. <laughs> Look at these little custom codes on the board here. How cute is that? And it looks great with those cherry blossom leaves in the background. We of course have our orchard. This is so, so inspiring for my new island. I just can't wait to slowly build up to this. Like this must have taken so much time without time traveling. When you consider how little you can do every day it's just perfect. We have a little bus stop here. I did see the house. I'm going to check up here first before we go in. I mean, no wonder Leonardo is so proud of this island. This is bringing back all the memories, all the feels. Look at this little area. Oh, the flamingos with the love hearts. They're such a good mixture of items. I feel like it's a really good example, almost kind of showing off how long they've played the game. It looks like they have Flo's picture as well. And the pictures are going to mean so much on this island if there are any more, because we know that they've legitimately been gained. No time travelling means any photographs have actually been gained by actually befriending the villagers. Right, let's run down here again. And see if we can go inside the house. Love all this in-game pathing. Let's check this out. I'm excited to see what they've done to the inside. Now, I don't have any social media links for Leonardo, so if you are watching this Leonardo and you would like me to shout out a social media platform that you are on, please do let me know in the comments. This room is amazing. Love all of the vintage items. Even more inspiration for Hessian, my time-traveling island. 
Oh, I love this bathroom. So tranquil. It's so tranquil and peaceful. Great use of the space. And great use of some of the less popular items as well. Let's run back. I see the little Happy Homes Paradise picture, so I'm assuming Leonardo does have the DLC. We have more pictures. How exciting. See, I have no idea how you get like NPCs pictures. Look at that clock. I don't think I've seen that before. How cute is that? It's like Tom. Or Timmy and Tommy. Great kitchen. Oh wow, look at this. It's all set up for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Wow, this is giving me all the excitement. I need fall and winter to come, please. How special. Love it. Love all of the vintage furniture. Such a sweet little room. And so many photographs. And there's that diamond painting again, which I love. Wow, I love this. It's giving like a drawing room. You know, Victorian England vibes. Love this. Very sophisticated. Is this Leonardo's house? It is. Leonardo, you have a very fine taste, a very refined palette. Okay, let's continue down here. We have this gorgeous Zen garden. Such a classic area to have on your island. Little picnic area up here. Full of flowers. I love the randomly placed items on this island. Okay, so we have our second house down here, which also looks like it is Fully done. Let's go check it out. Wow, again, immaculate. Slightly more minimal so far. Wow, I love rooms like this. Like little conservatories with all the greenery. So pretty. I really wish I had a place like this to go in my actual house. Wow, we have another house which is very sophisticated. Another sort of drawing room study area. I love the use of all of the wall items. That's something that I tend to forget to do, is to fill up the walls as much as I fill up the rest of the space inside my house. Oh, wow. Look at all of the photographs. Look at all of the pink. Look at all of the cats. We have my one and only Kiki there on the wall, bless her heart. This is fabulous. Leonardo, if you are watching this, please tell me you've got all of these photographs naturally in game because that's one of the most impressive things I have ever seen. And I don't know if the second character is you or you have someone else playing the Switch, but I appreciate a cat fan. Oh, how cute, the snow. Pooh Bear. Oh, this is so cute. I cannot wait to share this video with everyone. Just remind people of how amazing it is to do like a norm core, no time traveling island. Wow, little train room. Okay, let's see, what do we have on the peninsula here? Of course, the Statue of Liberty, surrounded by some very patriotic flowers. 
we have a little wishing well. Let's go back here because this has immediately caught my eye. What a fun little party area. This is the cutest. Look at how simple these shops are decorated. It's so gorgeous. And I do spot that lily of the valley in the background. So this must have five stars and I'm not surprised. I feel like this is exactly how the game was made to be played. Oh, look at this area. I don't even know what this item is, but it's amazing. Can anyone tell me what this item is called? I need it. Such a cute space. of these amazing items so great to see them all laid out like this we have the mario flag oh, a spinning wheel look do you remember when we all used to show off our lily of the valley so proudly like this wow and you have lots leonardo Look at this area. We jump over here. Yes, yeah, so this is where we were before by the museum. Let's go up here. Wow, this campsite. How adorable is this? I wonder if there are any villagers home that we can have a sneak peek in their house. Look, oh my gosh, this is so normcore, it's unbelievable and it is making me so, so excited to start my non-time travelling island. I'm filming this a bit ahead of schedule and I'm actually filming this the same day that I will be restarting my no time travelling island on a live stream. So couldn't have been more perfectly timed. This is so inspiring. Look at all those items down there. I can't wait to go give that a closer look. Okay, we have someone home. Looks like this could be Fauna. Let's see what her interior is looking like. Okay, so I checked inside and Fauna's house wasn't done. So I think we're going to skip going inside villagers' houses because I doesn't look like they are done. Wow, I mean, all of these hybrid flowers are just insane. Considering, guys, we all need to remember for a moment. Let's go up here. Leonardo has not time traveled. So all of those hybrid flowers have been painstakingly bred. Play area, super cute. Oh, she's looking up at me. What do we have down there? That looks exciting. Let's try not to get too, too much of a spoiler. Can we go down here? Now, I don't think this is a complete finished island. Because I don't think Leonardo is in a rush to have a completely finished island, which is the joy of not time traveling and really enjoying this game. So it is also quite refreshing, oh, we have a gnome there, to see a kind of in progress island. Okay, we can't go down there. That's a mean place to put a vine. I really want to go and see what looks like some sort of church. Shall we jump in here first? Let's see where this takes us. Okay, so we're back behind the house here. So let's pop back through, see if we get there again, which we do. I love the standees in the background here. Mixing them in with the actual trees is such a fun idea. 
especially for like a child's like playground area like this. Okay, I'm excited to go over to this side of the island. Looks like we have a little spooky area, a little beware sign, some Halloween decorations. That is super fun. I kind of love how there are little themed seasonal areas on this island. So we had the Christmas and Thanksgiving room and now we have a little homage to Halloween. Okay, so this looks like a serious build. Look at all of these blue hybrid flowers. Okay, this is a church, a cathedral, something along those lines. How wonderful. This must have taken a good solid amount of time to complete. Then of course we have a cemetery. So beautiful with the flowers. Everybody's photographs, I wonder if they are in fact villagers that have left the island. Also has that little spooky vibe to it, which is fun. Let's walk back up here and then check the map. So I don't want to miss anything on this island. I want to go down and see that beach there. Look at their yards though, like seriously, how adorable. This is really giving me flashbacks to my first ever island. a lovely little fire pit area you can look out towards the ocean then we have some really cool items here lots of the pirate items I love the interactivity of these Let's head down here and then to the right hand side to make sure we don't miss anything. Looks like we have a farm. Such a great normcore farm. I am sorry Leonardo if you would not like me to describe your island as normcore. However I feel it is the best way to describe the amazingness that is this island. And my new island coming up will be Normcore. No time traveling. So as I've said a million times already, this is gonna be a huge, huge influence and inspiration. Look at that big body of water there. I love the movement of it. And the fact that, you know, it looks like it's just almost like a long river behind there when you look at it from that angle. So we have the museum. Let's head back around this area. A little area to play some chess. Great use of all the pagodas. Oh, those feed items just look so tempting. Gorgeous, gorgeous island. Love this little area, it's so playful. Okay, so it looks like we don't have much more left of the island to look at. Let's try and make our way to the airport.
Love this little area with the little bike parking. And let's check this map one more time. So I feel like we have 100% definitely done all of the left hand side of the island. We've done those houses, we've done the shops. I think that's everywhere. Let me go up to the far right corner past the shops just to make sure we haven't missed that. Because as I said, I would hate to miss an area of this island. The inspiration, the nostalgia has been amazing. Look at this shell bed facing out the, towards the ocean. So great. Right, we have been back here. But I feel like this is the perfect place to sit and say my goodbyes. Thank you so much, Leonardo, for honouring me and letting me film this video of your amazing island. It has been so inspiring and also well done to you for making such an amazing island without doing any time traveling or anything like that. You can really tell there have been so many hours and so much love put into this island. I hope all of you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. Please do like, comment and subscribe. As always, my card is linked in the description below where you can find all of my dream addresses, my custom codes and my island tour submissions. Thank you for watching. Bye. Subscribe to my videos and hit the bell. Ring. Bye for now. See you soon.